Hello, record nerds and jazz nerds of the internet. These are two different copies of Time Out by the Dave Brubrecht Quartet. We're going to discuss the differences. Coming up. Six in the morning. All right, on the left, you have what I believe to be the second pressing of Time Out from 1961 on Columbia. This is a mono pressing. This is the currently available music on vinyl pressing of the same record on, in stereo. Let's talk about the differences. Now immediately you can see that there are differences just based on the cover. I mean really the difference in this color is pretty staggering. This one's way more muted. This one's way more lively. It has a Columbia logo there. Columbia logo's down there. Columbia catalog number. No catalog number there. You do get this music on vinyl resealable sleeve like you do with all music on vinyl releases. And I don't know if that was ever bright white or if that was always cream. If you look down here, that's kind of more white than that is. But I'm going to guess that's just aged. On the back, you have a tipped on sleeve with a bunch of words and then like catalog. And then here you have the words that are over here, over here, and then the catalog has been replaced with a, a picture of our friend Dave Brubeck. And then there's just a couple of other little changes. Obviously it says stereo here. Doesn't say mono here, but back then the default was mono. So if it doesn't say stereo, then it's most likely mono, which is what that is. So it occurred to me as I was editing the video that I didn't include the labels. So this is the label of the music on vinyl repressing. This is the 1961 reissue label with the 6i. Columbia label. Now, what's interesting is the difference in, the, in sound can be compared to the differences in cover. This has a lot more detail. It's it's a lot more vivid, whereas this is muted. The details are crushed. Everything is more subdued. And that's the exact difference in the audio as well. This, the reissue sounds compressed and not as lively or dynamic as the, again, I wouldn't say original because it's the second pressing, but an older copy for sure. When I was listening to these, I did have mono engaged when listening to that. And then obviously for this one, stereo. Is some of it the difference between mono and stereo? I don't think so. I think really that this is just a better, more true copy of the recording than this is. This, I believe, almost always music on vinyl cuts from a digital source. Or is this... Digital sources didn't exist in 1961, so it was all analog all the time. So if I was looking for these, I would probably go with one of those. Although you're gonna be really hard pressed to find a really nice copy. The second pressing isn't as expensive as the first, but you could still probably find this for 20 bucks and that's gonna cost you about 20 bucks and you know, Go with what sounds better. Although this is probably going to have more surface noise than that if you find this because it's old and people didn't take care of records all that well back then. But yes, there is definitely a difference in sound quality. And the difference is that this one sounds way better. Not that this one sounds bad, but when you're A-Bing them, there's a huge difference. Huge. On this, a snare drum actually sounds like a snare drum. On this, it sounds like a recording of a snare drum. That's about it. Take it easy.